In this video, we're going to talk about Infinite Campus. Infinite Campus is how you will keep track of your grades. And it's very important that you check Infinite Campus two to three times a week, at least, to see uh, how you're progressing. You want to catch any problems early on and see if you can get those fixed. You can log in through an online version on the internet, or you can get an app for your mobile device. If you get the app, you need to get the Infinite Campus Student app. And when it asks for your district, you need to tell it Greeley, and it will find Greeley District 6. For both of these versions, you need to log on with a username and password. Your username is the first letter of your first name and then your last name. And some of you may have a number behind this, like a one or a two. Your password is your lunch number or your student ID. If you're coming to us from a school uh, within the district, like you went to Montfort last year, for example, and you used Infinite Campus, then it's the same username and password as what you had last year. We're gonna start by looking at grades because this is the most important piece of Infinite Campus. And you can see in here that there aren't a lot of grades yet because school has just started, but we do have a grade for music appreciation. Now let's say that this grade was a D, for example. Before I go running to my teacher or emailing my teacher, why do I have a D in this class? You need to look at the specific assignments for that class. And that's exactly what your teacher will tell you. Go back to Infinite Campus, log on, look at every assignment, and then you tell me why you have a D in this class. So to look at specific assignments, I'm gonna click on the arrow for that class. And I can see that I am getting grades under classwork and under homework. So I'm going to click the plus sign for each of these and see all of the assignments under classwork and all of the assignments under homework. And my guess is if you have a low grade, it's because you didn't do very well on an assignment or it's because you were missing an assignment. And so it's very uh, easy to see what's bringing your grade down. And now instead of asking my teacher, why do I have a D in this class? I can email my teacher and say, you know, I worked on this assignment. I didn't do very well. Is there any chance that I can redo it? something along those lines. All right, let's take a look at some of these other options over here. Uh, let's start with assignments. Okay. This is really helpful to see all of your missing assignments. So I'm gonna click on missing, and I don't have any missing assignments in here, but if I had missing assignments, there'd be a nice little list of all the ones that are missing. Okay. That is very helpful for a lot of our students. Hopefully yours stays empty, but just in case, that's where you find that. Your attendance, so you can see if you've been absent or tardy, tardy means that you were late. Your schedule, if you want to see um, what classes that you are enrolled in for each quarter. And you can look at the calendar if you want to, but the calendar isn't as helpful as the one in Google Classroom because most of the time teachers don't put their grades into Infinite Campus until they've collected the assignment. So it's hard to look ahead and see what's going to be due in the future. To do that, you really need to be in Google Classroom to see what assignments are coming up and that are due. Okay? But you can look and see if there um, is anything. So we'll look in September, she doesn't have anything. In August, these with the dots are the ones where she had something that was due. All right, and then lastly, I think we should look at um, notifications. And so I'm gonna go to this little person and under settings, I'm going to go to notifications. This isn't that helpful for the web version, but it's very helpful for the mobile version. So if I am on a device, then I can get little pop-ups on my screen that tell me every time a teacher puts in um, a grade and that she has her set for every time she gets a grade that's less than 80%, she's going to get a notification, okay? Every time that she has earned an overall grade that's less than 80%, she gets a notification. 
Every time her attendance is updated, meaning like they mark her absent or tardy, she gets a little notification. If you make changes to these, so maybe instead she wants to know every time she earns a grade on an assignment that's less than 90%, she needs to click save to save this. And like I said, this one's really helpful on a mobile device, but not as helpful on the web version. Okay, and then lastly, um, I think I said lastly before, but we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do the message center, and I'm gonna go to inbox. This is where your teachers might send you messages. Typically, these will also go to your um, parents' email, so they will see the message in Gmail. Um, but if I wanted to look at more information, like my teacher said, I sent a message through Infinite Campus about what breakout room I want you to go into in Google Meet today, um, then that's where the message is, under Message Center and Inbox. Okay. All right, I think that's everything for Infinite Campus. Hopefully you'll get a chance to kind of play with that and look at it and get really familiar with that because like I said, you need to be checking that at least twice a week and keeping up on those grades. My biggest advice for sixth grade students especially is get very used to using Infinite Campus. And as soon as you see a grade that is not what you wanted and it's bringing down your overall grade, take care of that assignment. Okay, especially if it's missing, get that done. Don't let those pile up, stay on top of those.